So at Zunox, well, we have a pair of Chinese alligators. Um, they're one of the most endangered crocodilians in the world. There's approximately about 150 of them left uh, in the wild. Um, and uh, so we've had these individuals since uh, 1988. They're approximately, the, the female is, is 30 years old and the male is 31. And they've been on exhibit for, gosh, since the mid-90s. And uh, because the exhibit never gets cool enough, they have never been able to cycle to breed. Um, and we checked with the, the species survival plan coordinator for Chinese alligators. And it turns out no zoos have successfully hatched this species since 2001. And so we thought, we have the ability to cool ours down, so why not give it a try? We, we went in, we, we caught them up, we had our vets come in the week before and give them uh, their yearly physical and take some blood um, and make sure that they were deemed healthy enough for to try this hibernation, and, and they were, as we suspected. Um, so we took measurements and weights on the alligators, and then, um, not that we really have any, you know, not that there's any fact behind this, but we thought if we, maybe if we separated them, uh, it would make the heart grow fonder come springtime when we uh, repaired them back up. And basically what we're going to do is keep them at about 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit for about uh, two, two and a half months. Um, and then in early March, we will bring them back out. Uh, we'll probably put the male back on exhibit first so he can kind of claim his territory. Um, and then we'll introduce the female. Um, and then we'll start feeding them heavily um, to, uh, you know, to help get them through this process. Because we'll just hope, um, again, that, uh, that we get at least to the, because it's the first time that we've done this, we, we'll be happy if we just see some signs of, of copulation or, or breeding between our pair. Because it might take a year or two more before we really get successful with this. And, and, and we might not ever, but hopefully we will. And um, so we, we really think that it'll be, uh, uh, it would be a very unique thing. The zoo has never hatched Chinese alligators, and if we can, our, our hope is that uh, uh, they would, the female would build the nest, lay the eggs, we would pull the eggs to incubate them, but we would still leave the nest there so that the female would think that the nest is there, and then if any hatch, we would put them in and let the parents um, raise the babies. So, because that's, you know, a lot of folks don't commonly think about that with reptiles, but, but uh, all crocodilians, including alligators, are more closely related to birds than they are to other living reptiles. So we think this uh, would be a fun, it'd be great for the SSP and it'd be a really great learning experience for our staff as well as for our guests that come to the zoo.